And as those students got back to campus on Fresno City College, where they have nearly doubled the number of in-person classes offered this year, which has also helped increase registration. We want to join our Esteban Reynoso there at Fresno City College now for more on some of the changes that have been made so far. Esteban, good evening. Good evening, Stephanie and Alex on the college said they're hitting 90% of their new student registration goal. The new president says he's bringing on more incentives for students to bring them back to campus. Things seem to be returning to normal at Fresno City College after a slowdown caused by the pandemic. You almost miss, you know, not finding a parking spot because it was empty the whole time. So, Dr. Robert Pimentel is in just his first month as the new president for the college. One of the first things on his to-do list is to bring student registration up to pre-pandemic levels. 2019, we lost a lot of students, a lot of students. In 2020, the campus lost two to three thousand incoming freshmen due to campus restrictions and fees years about COVID. Devastating numbers that repeated in 2021. Uh, we just don't know what's happening. We don't know how to get our students back. One way the college is trying to bring more students back is through making the college experience cheaper. Textbook vouchers up to $250 and free parking all year round. That makes a great impact because as a student, um, I'm a working student, so I have to like buy all my gas. And this is Sage Ramirez's first day of college and the financial help on top of bringing classes back to in person is the change she needed to start her college career. Online, I cannot pay attention online. I'm like, I'm so glad these in-person classes are back because it makes a big difference on people like me that cannot focus on just at home laptops. 63% of classes are now in person, a major reversal from last year. Still, the college is focused on bringing more students to campus after a tough two years. We're not doing very well on bringing them here recruitment outreach because of COVID issues and many other barriers that they may experience. But we are trying to do what we can to make sure that they stay on, on campus and that they get to that finish line. And Dr. Pimentel, he stressed that the college is struggling bringing more male students onto the campus, specifically with the Hispanic and African American population. Now, he said that there are mentorship groups that the college offers for the majors that the college offers here. Live in Fresno, Esteban Reynoso, KC24 Local News That Matters.